love the outfit. Thank you. Yeah, so do I. Very festive. We haven't had a lot of. I believe it's a beret. Yeah. And, yes. And you're going to the premiere tonight, right? Yes. Uh, this is the movie Rules of Attraction, which is quite different role for you as opposed to Seventh Heaven, where you're a preacher's kid, right? It's really different. Quite. Yeah. It's quite different. <laughs> and 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 have you have you seen the film yet? I have. I've seen it. I've seen it twice. Are you naughty in it? <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> Um, now, I'm a little bit naughty, but she's a she's one of those characters. Who, right. You know, she's really insecure, and so it kind of comes out as that wild child. Right. And who are you seeing? Who are we with tonight? My parents and my little brother. <laughs> now, how does that work? Um, they're really cool. So I'm I'm not. I mean, I'm a little nervous to sit there and kind of watch some of the scenes with them, but they're going to be okay. How old is the brother? He's 17. Oh, he's cool. So, yeah. But he's yeah. young to me. I mean, he's, you know, he's still my little brother. What are so. you, like, you're 20? Yeah. You're just a kid. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, and, and the folks are okay with this movie? I guess they kind of have to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if the old man is worth his salt, he should walk out in the middle. If Princess is, you know, doing something crazy. Oh, I know. He's, they're so great. They're, they're really accepting, and yeah. I don't think they'll care too much. They know it's just a character, and they know. Right. It's not me. Um, okay, okay, um, okay. Uh, now, I just want to make sure, I don't know, you're, you're, I don't, what, what do you do exactly in the film that you, you might be a little embarrassed about in front of the folks? Um, well, I kind of get a little steamy with James Vanderbeek. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Okay. Now, because the thing is, when I was your age, even when I went home from college and watched a movie on TV, and there was, you know, Bond, James Bond was kissing maybe Ursula Andress or something, uh -huh. the actress. It's a great reference. Thank you. <laughs> I was just kind of like, oh, you know, with the fa parents watching, I'd go, oh, boy. It's embarrassing. It's isn't embarrassing. It? Now I know. it's you I kissing Vanderbeek. I know. I know. And I know. I'm scared to death. Well, so am I. <laughs> Why are you know. taking them? Are you sitting next to them? Don't sit next to them. Why? Well, I can't not sit next to them. I because have to sit next to them. What's Daddy going to do when you're kissing Vanderbeek? He's going to say something to just make me even more embarrassed. Give me like one of those, you know, like... Why are you, you know, enjoying it so yeah, much? Exactly. That kind of thing, yes, right? right? Yes, yes. Wow. Um, <laughs> seventh Heaven, do you know, uh, what's the highest rated show on the WB? Do you know? Um, seventh Heaven. That's correct, yeah. It's Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what was your walk us back? What was your first role? Do you remember as a kid, going away? As back? a kid, yes. Um, I played Annie in Annie. Right. How old were you? I was. I think I was eight, turning nine. I actually turned nine on the second performance. And where were you? Where were you living? I was living in Boulder, Colorado, and we did the performance. It was. It was in a small town where my mother grew up, called Salida, Colorado. Actually. There you are. There's a lady right there. <laughs> That's so it. you, so you, uh, did you always want to be on stage? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I really always wanted to sing. It kind mm -hmm. of started off with singing, and um, then the acting kind of came in with it. And, and, it and uh, do you still sing? Yeah. Yeah. And would you like you're gonna sing later for us tonight? You brought? No. 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 <laughs> no. What, what do you? What, cause some of these actors are now singing. Would you ever consider? You're young. Would you ever consider putting out a CD or anything? Um. Yeah. I, I think I would, but I, I think I would much rather just. Be in a band, like in in a band, like plays coffee shops and plays yeah. really good music. Oh, I don't know coffee so much about shop! It. Now that's more of the folk Single. kind of stuff, right? Well, like you Strip know, like down. acoustic. Yeah, acoustic like a, stuff. Like, with acoustic stuff, like really good harmony and yeah. good music. So you probably like who do you, you probably like Jewel? I like Jewel. Uh huh. Yeah. What do you think of Dido? Um, I I don't know. I don't listen to her stuff so She's much. She's great. Is yeah. she? Yeah. Okay. I like her. We just we discovered her here. That's why we like her so much. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know the I know the one song that she had that. Thank Eminem you. used that yeah. thing, yeah. but I, I don't really know much more from music. The folks know you listen to Eminem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> where, where exactly? My folks are cool. Like, they sound cool. They're cool. Yeah. What, where uh, where'd you grow up? In Boulder. Okay. So you, were you, are you from Canada or not? From Canada? Yeah. No. Where did I hear that today? I don't know. I read the notes. Were you ever living in Canada? Were well, you born in Canada? Were you were you near Minnesota? Yes. What? I was born in Ely, which is right... Minnesota, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I'm right. Yeah, you are. But I wasn't living in Canada. Okay, isn't it up near the border? It's up near the border, but it's not in Canada. It's Ely, Minnesota. Yeah. I'm from Minnesota. I know. This is great. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about Jessica. We're going to find out if she lives in a dorm or lives off campus, right? <laughs> Back. 
We're back now with okay. Jessica Beal. Um, let's see, you're, you're uh, shooting the Seventh Heaven, doing mm -hmm. very well, and you're going to college, which I think is admirable. Thank you. Yeah, Tufts. Tufts. Very good school. Yeah. It used to be an all women's school. Did it? I think so. I didn't know and that. You were, and you were born in Ely, Minnesota. This is what I believe. Yes, you're right. Tufts is formerly an all, all women's school, isn't it? I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> I don't know either. Okay. Uh, so the burning question is do you live on campus? Do you live in a dorm? Do you, what do you do? Well, I, I, I live in a dorm. Oh, that's so down to earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. I live, I live in a single in a dorm. Yeah, there's um, no way you have a roommate. Well, I actually, I really have a roommate, um, mm -hmm. but I, I took a year off, and I had a roommate, and then all my friends moved into, like, um, an off-campus apartment, Yeah. and they, they couldn't wait for me to know what I was going to do, because okay. I, I wasn't sure if I was going back to school right away or not. I see. And then when I finally decided I was going to go, I didn't really know anybody, and I didn't just want to pick a random roommate. Scary. Because I, got, I got such a great roommate my freshman year. Yeah. It was... It, it was just bad luck. I think I you made the right decision, Jessica. Okay. I think so. <laughs> now, uh, what are you what are you studying? I haven't decided. Uh -huh. What year are you? Um, I should be a junior, but since I took a year off, I'm a sophomore. Do you ever think about, hey, why don't I just act for a while and go? I don't even want to go to college? Some of them just skip college. Um, I guess not really. I didn't really want to do that. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's since I've been taking a year off, and then I would, you know, do like a film or do some more yeah. Seventh Heaven, and then go back to school. I mean, it'll take me more than just four years. Maybe when you're 40, you'll yeah, Maybe like when 40 graduate. Yeah. My cutoff is 30. I'm uh -huh. okay. I just want to graduate by 30. That's great. That gives me a lot of time. Yeah, you got plenty of time. I'm, I'm set. I almost I'm graduated by the time I was 30, so I'm sure See? I'm sure you could do it. There you go. Uh, tell them about this. Uh, you have a thing for horror movies. Yeah, I do love horror movies. And did you shoot one, or you are shooting one? We, I just finished it. What's it called? Um, it's the, the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. That's a great one. So you saw the original one, think? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, how was this shooting this one? Was this fun? It was, it was so much fun, but I'm telling you, I've never worked so hard. Really? Uh, physically, emotionally. I mean, it's just, it's... It's draining. It's what, like would you have to scream work. a lot or what? Well, screaming and, and pretty much crying and, yeah. and, and freaking out like, yeah. for like two months straight. When you freak out, it drains the body. It's when draining you freak when out. you freak. <laughs> it is. I mean, I'm telling you, it was, it was, it was so much fun, but it was, it was yeah. a lot of hard work. I think uh, when you're watching these things, I, I think the, uh, the screaming is, is effective. But I sometimes like the silent screen. We have a lot of that too, though. Yeah. Can you that's do that? also very challenging. Okay, let me see a silent screen. Let's say you actually see my face and I scare you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. That's why I did a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. That's what your dad's Close up on the eyes. Your dad's going to be doing that tonight. I know. It's going to be scary. Let's not talk about it. I know, let's, let's move not. On let's just now, forget please. that. All right, uh, we're out of time. Uh, let's see, Rules of Attraction is the movie uh, that's going to make the folks uncomfortable. And that's opening, limited release October 11th, and then Seventh Heaven is on, of course, WB. Of course, what night? Mondays. Mondays, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, big hand for Jessica Beale.